Okay, um, this is going to be a really short video explaining how to defuse uh, Zytos bombs. So here we are in our cabin. We've just talked to Penny. Uh, we are shot in the leg. Um, I just went a little too far. So this is Zytos, uh room. It's C59. You can tell which one it is because here's the corridor. Um, you just pop in here. Zytos going to come talk to us. I'm going to delete it. Uh, all this dialogue. But here we'll watch him evilly lock the door so he gives us a little look. Um, so we're locked in here with a notepad. You don't have to grab it first. You can grab it second. And uh, so let's take a look at this bomb. So when you open the bomb, um, it's automatically armed due to this class. So you can see um, the top of the briefcase has been strapped full of dynamite. And then there's more dynamite here to give us a, like more of an idea of what we're dealing with. Ex I'm sure they're all labeled with explosive at this period. Um, so how this works is we turn this switch here uh, to three so that there's power going to the clock here um, and then we're going so let's just do that uh, three so you can hear the clock ticking down so what we want we don't want this peg or we don't want the hammer to make connection with this so we're going to turn uh, this switch to two turn to two there you go um, so what this is going to do is instead of the power going through the uh, through the switch um, into uh, yeah so this will connect the battery through this switch to the hammer to this wire which connects to the bomb which of course will blow you up so we don't you don't want that to happen so the other thing you need to do here is disarm the class which is just turning um, this switch to three so here we open the celluloid and it has disarmed the clasp so uh, so I've left this at two, but we're going to want to turn it back to three because what happens when this is set at two is now the battery power is coming from this wire into the switch and it's going out to, which obviously here is a dead end, but see when we open the box, the two poles meet um, because it's inferred that the box cut case is some sort of conductive metal. So um, when that happens, uh, the bomb goes off. So because the charge, the battery charge, which is coming through the switch, um, through this red wire, will come out to connect the poles to, to one, and um, somehow that blows everything up. I, now that I'm looking at it, I'm like, where is the wire for that? Anyway, um, I guess it, yeah. I have no idea. So, um, so then we can take the key and hit OK. And yeah, we're, now we're out. So here's the key. Um, and here's the notebook. So let's take that. Um, and now you can go confront Zytol again and give him the painting or find out that you need to get the painting from Jack Hacker or whatever. So let's look at the um, cheater's method uh, of getting the uh, bomb. I'm just going to open um, so we're back in the room and um, we'll march down here to confront Zytel. I'm just going to escape through the whole thing again. Um, and here's the notebook. So now uh, you open the case. Like I said, it's immediately armed. You don't have to click anything here. You just hit OK and you immediately blow up. So um, the Titanic now has another hole in it. Uh, it doesn't need any more holes. So we're going to start over and you just have to click give up um, and you uh, automatically have the key. So that's um, sort of because of Cyroflix's sort of uh, idea of, of making the game not easy, but not having dead ends I know that they I've read places that they've said that um, they didn't want the game to be you know to have dead ends or to have places where you get to them and you just couldn't get by so um, so now we have the key due to uh, to the easy route of getting it um, I'm sure most people got the key this way I'm not gonna pretend that I'm super smart I had to f look up how to do the briefcase too but now I've um, sort of got it memorized. So, um, 
yeah, so this that's the solution to Zydel's briefcase. Um, explained terribly by me. Thanks.